A waiting game now inside of the federal courthouse in Brunswick. This follows a day of closing arguments in the federal hate crime trial of the three men who killed Ahmaud Arbery. So here are three things to know tonight. After six days of testimony, the 12 member jury began deliberating about two hours ago. Each verdict for the counts against the three defendants must be unanimous. On your side, Ann Schindler has been in the courtroom all day long and she joins us now live with the very latest. Ann? Well, Heather, so deliberations have begun, uh, as, as you said, in this case. You know, while the state murder trial barely mentioned race, this case has really been about almost nothing but race. The language has been rough and very difficult. And at one point today, actually caused Ahmaud Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, to cry out as prosecutors ran through a litany of racist terms that they said these defendants were thinking about as they pursued and ultimately murdered her son. Now, Wanda Cooper Jones was just one of many people in the courtroom today. It was a very packed courtroom, even with COVID restrictions for these four hours of closing arguments. Travis McMichael's mother kept her head down during much of the testimony, almost as in prayer. Ahmad Arbery's father nodded along as prosecutors argued the defendant's racist bias shaped how they viewed Ahmad Arbery when they saw him running through their neighborhood. They said the men would not have conducted themselves in that way if Arbery had been white. The attorneys for the three men didn't defend their racist attitudes, calling it repugnant and terrible and ignorant, but they insisted that the men, the reason they chased Arbery was not because he was black, but because they recognized him from surveillance video of his four prior nighttime visits to Satilla Shores. They also told jurors that while they may hold these defendants responsible for Arbery's death, it is not a murder trial and it's not an issue for them to decide. Only whether they believe their actions were motivated by race and a desire to deprive Arbery of his civil rights. Now, speaking earlier this morning, Ahmad Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, noted that the conclusion of this trial will come within days, if not hours, of the two year anniversary of her son's death. Very emotional. Um, this has been very draining. And I'm, I'm thankful that it's almost over. I think the timing is great. Um, the anniversary date is um, the 23rd, and hopefully we'll have a good verdict by the 23rd. So the judge in this case is, said she's going to let this jury deliberate until about dinner time and then bring them back in the morning uh, if necessary. And we'll, of course, be covering that on air and online. Live in Brunswick, Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.